the room, but I backed up a little too close to the moose, and he grabbed my hips, and I went, ah, in my mind. I didn't say it out loud. In real life, I went, so that was probably the weirdest fan experience I've what had, if you were still wondering. I don't know if he was a fan of my YouTube, but he was definitely a fan of my body. Or he was drunk. I don't know. Again, I don't judge. Before the video begins, I just want to say shout out to my second channel because I'm trying to grow that channel. So guys, please subscribe to that channel and subscribe to SMR Gaming because he made my outro. So anyway, let's start the video. to conventions conventions i missed them by the i ones out because he uploaded a new video and we are going to react to it now i don't go to conventions that much so i don't have an opinion on them but let's see why does why does the i ones out miss them so let's see. well we already know the reason so you need fans but yeah yeah so let's see how this video is in three two one where we are wearing g's if you're one of those kids that spends too much time on that darn computer machine then conventions yep. are a great place to get the recommended amount of yep i actually just mostly be on my computer to like you know just do videos you know like youtube you might have seen some conventions in the news and just watch you know the ones like vidcon comic-con and e3 but did you know all canceled for all sorts of different things like coin collecting pens and degenerates in video games I went to was in Arizona called Phoenix Comic Con. I was 16 years old and it no exaggeration changed my life. I had heard a lot about geek culture online, but Phoenix Comic Con was the very first time I witnessed it in its fullest. I was a very sheltered kid. It was the first time oh, he just I mentioned that one episode SpongeBob. I had accident where in the wild. The medical willow. I was told I'm not that sure it was you guys that quick. cool to like geeky things. And as a 16 year old, I tried really hard to make it seem like I didn't secretly like a bunch of geeky things. But people at Comic Con just embraced nerd culture like they didn't care what people thought of them or something. Yeah, you shouldn't think about that. I guess when I was 16, I was hyper desperate to receive everyone's approval. I was so hyper desperate that while walking Pokemon, around, Pokemon, Star Wars, Spider Man, if you like it, Steven Universe, if you like anime, makeup. cartoons, this is I, I like cartoons, cosplay, anime, I like video like games, I like Pokemon. I don't give a shit what people, what people think about me. This quadrupedic course. Course. Also, spark from Pokemon Go. I went to one panel okay. called How to Make Steampunk Weapons. But instead of teaching us how to weld real life weapons powered by steam, the steam. people on the panel taught us how to paint Nerf guns to make them look like they were powered by steam. And that was, no exaggeration, the most disappointing panel I've ever been to. There was also a panel for bronies. Whoa! I was too Did I mention so that my grandfather wrong. Was got drafted into World War II when he was 18? He fought in a war so I could go to a comic convention and be too nervous to talk to bronies. What a different life we had. At most conventions, people in the X will sell rumps. super cool unlicensed merchandise. Yeah, a lot of artists will sell prints and plushies and oven mitts with characters and titles they probably didn't get the license to sell. But if it's at a convention or on Etsy, then for some reason it's okay. I've always felt weird about buying that type of merch. Sponge man, sponge pier, square pier. the owner's consent. But on the other hand, look at this cool Bowser wallet, Bowser print, Bowser bandana that I own. And this body pillow. It's a moral gray area did, because did he buy a body pillow that a hardcore fan. That was a pink. No, never mind. Um, these characters came from. They probably already own license merch of the character. The artist isn't claiming to have created the character either. It's a mutual understanding between buyer and seller that we both think Bowser is cool and we just want to buy as much merch as possible. You kind of have to take it on a case by case basis, but let me just say this to get it out there. You're not allowed to sell bootleg that one's out merch. Phoenix Comic Con actually I'm scared. I, I, I don't sell those. I, don't, I actually just don't sell I, don't, I actually don't sell those. Because the people at the San Diego Comic Con didn't like that Phoenix was stealing their name. So these conventions that don't care about stealing other people's copyright are forcing others to respect their copyright. Interesting. Hmm. As some of you may know, since 2000, Baby's first Comic -Con one just subs. And in 2019, I got invited to be a guest at Phoenix Fan Fusion, which is my home convention. The really crazy part is the convention put me in the celebrity line, like next to the people where you have to pay for photos and autographs. Ooh. I didn't charge my fans for anything, so that made my line appear a lot longer than others. 
and my line was no exaggeration right next to Jeff Goldblum's line. I was gonna make eye contact with Jeff Goldblum. Jeff oh, God damn it. Hours on Saturday, and when he came out from backstage, really close the door. and my line started wooing and clapping, and even I was like, Woo! and then Jeff took a look at my line, then looked at me, and then gave me a nod of approval, saying, She's like, not bad, kid. He didn't say it out loud, but I could tell he said it with his eyes. He also said that it looked kind of cute, so <laughs> thanks, Jeff. The first time I went to VidCon, don't feed people's fan fiction, please. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, please, Again. please. It was the first time I met all these YouTubers that I've been watching. Mr. Beast, Logan Paul. At first, I was kind of I'm in a boys in a band. I completely desensitized meeting other YouTubers and feel no joy anymore. When I meet another YouTuber, I say, Oh, you make videos in your bedroom? Me too. People know that you're a bedwetter too, right? No? That's just me then. If you've ever Yes, he's, he's a drunk. He's a drunk. Then you'll be Confirm. To know that I've kept everything I've ever been given. Unless you're the guy that gave me a plastic baggie full of water and other junk and called it a homemade snow globe. I what used the to hell? collect snow globes, so it was a nice sentiment, but I didn't want to take it home with me and have it inevitably break and get all the important fan art wet. So I chucked it. Boom! And as I'm telling you this, there's some poor kid out there going He's talking about my snow globe. He, he threw it away. And now I feel bad, so. <laughs> he says, so let me refill it. That way the kid the, the kid won't cry and send me a hate comment. Here, I'll mail this to you and you can get a taste of your own medicine. I don't know why this is such a popular question, but a lot of times people will ask me, <laughs> oh, what's God. the weirdest fan interaction you've ever had? I think they think that some of you are cringy. I never have an Corny. answer for them because all my fans are super nice. Yeah, someone gave me a bag of water, but that's not weird. That's nice. Okay, I have received fan mail from a prison, which is true. So I guess some of you aren't law-abiding citizens. Going to conventions and Whoa. meeting fans and being on panels is a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong. But it doesn't give you a lot of time to really experience the convention. Since 2017, when I would go to a convention, it would mean I was working. I still had a fun time, but I didn't really get to just relax with friends. Relax, you know. You know, hang out. A convention last December called MFF, which stands for Midwest Fur Fest. So, now, um, James, so MFF. Go to a furry convention. Well, I went with some friends to a furry convention so that I could actually enjoy a convention and not have to work. Although I still got recognized even though I was wearing a disguise. Furries wow. are very touchy people, I've learned. Not touchy as in overly sensitive. Well, some probably are. But they're also literally touchy. Let me tell you where I'm Oh, so they're friends. physical. Last December, I was in an elevator full of furries and... If my grandpa could see me now, he would probably be frowning. Or smiling. I don't know. I don't judge. We were all Here's crowded up. in. There was a moose breathing down my neck. <laughs> We stopped on a floor because more furries wanted to come in, so I backed up to make more room, but I backed up a little too close to the moose, and he grabbed my hips, and I went, ah, in my mind. I didn't say it out loud. In real life, I went, so that was probably the weirdest fan experience I've what had, if you were still wondering. I don't know if he was a fan of my YouTube, but he was definitely a fan of my body. Or he was drunk. I don't know. Again, I don't judge. I was debating on whether or not I should include Whoa. Story, I think James is trying to put people's fan James fictions. PSA, you don't want to see no fan fiction. Furries, don't touch people without their permission. In the moment, I stayed quiet, but that sort of behavior isn't okay, and I should have spoken out. Hopefully, most of you are mindful of other people's personal space. However, comma, at least one of you went to prison, so... I don't know. Overall, it was the best ironic trip ever. <laughs> At the end of the day, <laughs> are a lot of fun, and I really, really miss going to them. And when it's safe to do so again, I recommend you Not try bad, to go to kid. one you're interested in. And Grandpa, I'm sorry if I disappointed you. Hello, everyone. I hope you're right. going to... Yeah, all right. So that was a video. That was explaining no why you look... Conventions Convent going on right Convent now. Con conventions. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I don't be at conventions that much. It's been a month since actually, birthday, I actually think I never went to one, actually. Birthday, it's actually kind of sad, actually. So, I really don't have an opinion on them, which I, I would actually like to go on one, one day. But conventions don't happen in New York. I'm, not, I'm actually not really so sure. Yeah, um... One last thing, for all you people that stuck around listening to this end card, I'm planning on creating another card game in 21 days. Oh, it's another card game! Letter, you get a free collector's card, so you don't even have to spend money to get it, so... And on yeah, say this is a good time, I'll see you guys later, bye. Sure, Up sure you wear your